coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening. A severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for the far western part of the News 10 viewing area. This is going to include Coles, Cumberland, and Effingham counties in Illinois until 4 o'clock central time. So 5 o'clock for those of us in, in Indiana, but 4 o'clock over there in Illinois. That's where most of the activity is expected, at least initially, before it continues to work its way to the east. So as we can take a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, locally, not much going on. Still have a mostly clear sky across the News 10 viewing area. But as we look farther out to the west, that's where a line of showers and thunderstorms has developed in western Illinois. And it's quickly racing off to the east. So it's going to be headed our way during the overnight hours. You can see this pink box is the severe thunderstorm watch in effect for most of central Illinois. And then a couple warnings have been issued farther to the west. So we're going to keep a close eye on this line as it comes towards us through the overnight hours. And the Storm Prediction Center does have most of the News 10 viewing area and a slight risk. That's level two out of five for strong to severe thunderstorms. And you notice over here in the green, this is a marginal risk, level one out of five. So as these storms make it to the east, they're going to be weakening a little bit as they continue to move through during the overnight hours. But we can still see some strong wind gusts and also some heavy rain with these thunderstorms as they come through. So let's time it out for you now on Futurecast. Here's one o'clock, still keeping most of the Wabash Valley dry, but some of those showers and thunderstorms just to our northwest, and those will quickly advance towards us as we get later on. So this is closer to two o'clock. You can see this sweeping through. Then here's three o'clock moving through the heart of the Wabash Valley. Then by the time we get to five o'clock, the main line has gone through. And then we're going to watch out for the potential for some more showers and thunderstorms to develop in the southwest part of the News 10 viewing area, and that could lead to a better threat of some flash flooding. So a couple of different factors we're going to keep a close eye on as we go into the overnight hours, so don't be surprised here. Some rumbles of thunder through the night, see some flashes of lightning, and have a way to get some watches and warnings. If you are going to bed, have a NOAA weather radio, download the Storm Team 10 weather app. It'll send you any weather alerts as they're issued. And as we get to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we can still see some showers and thunderstorms, especially in the southern part of the News 10 viewing area. As we go over the course of the day Monday, I'm expecting the sky to gradually clear, so we'll get some sunshine to finish up the day. Temperatures will still be warm. We'll climb into the 80s tomorrow. And as we get into the afternoon, it looks to be drier. So if you need to do something outside tomorrow, save your plans for the latter half of the day, and then we'll try to dry out. As we get into Tuesday, the story is going to change and come back to the heat. We're going to warm back up on Tuesday. The wind's going to come out of the south. That's going to help boost highs up into the lower 90s once again. So summer's not through with us just yet. As we look at the temperature trend over the next five days, 91 degrees on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday. But then a stronger cold front's going to come through, and that's going to drop us down into the 70s on Thursday, and then we may not even make it to 70 by the time we get to Friday. Looking at temperatures right now, it's 70 in Paris, 76 in Casey, Terre Haute and Sullivan, 74 for Linton and Vincennes, and 71 right now in Robinson. For tonight, only dropping down to 68 degrees is going to be a warm night with the clouds on the increase and those showers and thunderstorms late. Of course, keep it here on WTHI for updates as needed. Then as we get into tomorrow, expect a high of 84, morning rain giving way to a mostly sunny afternoon, a bit of a breezy day with wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow night, mostly clear and mild, dropping down to 64 degrees in the seven-day forecast. So it will dry as we get into the middle part of the week. Just a slight chance of rain as that front comes through Wednesday night and another chance of some scattered showers by the time we get to Saturday.